everyone and welcome back to another video and in today's video this is going to be my uh, airport update for Snowy Hills International Airport and to make this update a little bit more unique and interesting I decided to uh, move the time frame to sunset so uh, the time frame for my airport update it is uh, around 6 uh, 5 to 6 p.m. which means that uh, at this time usually in the uh, central time zones the sun would be setting and this is why I decided to use this time zone for today for my Snowy Hills International Airport. Now just to let you know guys that my airport is fictional and it is based in uh, the Canadian province of Alberta kind of like a mix of Calgary slash Edmonton International Airport so this is uh, what my airport looks like so uh, we're gonna get today in today's uh, video so uh, let's get started into this uh, airport update so right now uh, here featured uh, on focus right now here we have an American Airlines Boeing 777-200ER and this is just getting ready for its flight out to Miami at the US gates right now here on focus uh, we have a Delta Airlines Boeing 767-300 and this is just uh, getting ready for its uh, uh, flight out to Atlanta next to him here we have a Delta Airlines Boeing 767-300 and uh, this just came in from Salt Lake City and pulling in right into its gate here we have a United Airlines Boeing uh, 777-200ER uh, and uh, this is just uh, coming in from Houston and on the MT Canadian ramp here we have a WestJet Boeing 737-800 and this is just getting its uh, passengers and bags loaded and then this will be heading out to Edmonton and moving on to the cold taxiway right now I should say here we have a KLM Boeing 787-9 and this is just on its uh, 15 minute delay it's actually departing 15 minutes late and uh, yeah unfortunately but anyways uh, this will be heading out to Amsterdam 15 minutes late and here we are guys we have officially moved on to my Air Canada terminal now, I got uh, two of the four uh, Air Canada aircraft right now, so we're going to get started uh, with them. So, on focus right now, if you can see, alright, yeah, anyways, here we have an Air Canada Boeing 777-200 uh, LR, and then uh, this just arrived from, in from Toronto Pearson. And just right beside him, here we have a parked Air Canada Boeing 777-200 LR, and then uh, this is just going to get uh, ready out for its... Uh, flight uh, departure to Rome. Just to make this airport update a little bit more interesting, I actually uh, switched up the uh, runway. So instead of the runway uh, facing, uh, instead of the runway facing this way, it's now actually facing this way if you can see the direction of my hand. And I'll show you just to prove a little bit. Now, if you've seen my uh, other airport updates, uh, my runway, like I said, would be uh, this way. So actually it would be like this way so uh, yeah so I actually wanted to change the runway a little bit just to give you guys an idea uh, what's it like to uh, switch up the runways. Sometimes I, sometimes I should do that in uh, other airport updates uh, uh, no matter uh, what type of uh, airport I'm building. So anyways uh, let's uh, get started over here. So touching down on the main runway right now here we have a Cathay Pacific Airbus A340-300 and a member of One World livery and this is just touching down from Hong Kong. And this is where the golden hour starts over here. So we're gonna get right to the uh, golden hour rush. So part of the golden hour rush right now here we have an Air Canada Boeing 777-300ER on main focus right now. And uh, this will be heading out to London Heathrow. And the official uh, last plane for our uh, list today. Here we have an Air Canada Boeing 787-9. And uh, this will be heading out to Madrid. Thank you so much uh, everyone for watching today's video. I really hope that you like my Sunset uh, Airport updates. Uh, nothing much to, to say for this airport update, but uh, don't forget guys, I do have an Instagram account, so go follow me on Instagram right now. It is Canadian Maple Leaf Aviation. Same thing as my YouTube channel. I think it, often in uh, most videos, but not all my videos, I am going to promote my uh, Instagram uh, 
But uh, yeah, uh, when I usually talk in my videos, sometimes I am gonna promote my Instagram. But most times in every video, what I'm gonna do and uh, how I'm actually gonna uh, promote my Instagram is that I'm gonna put the, the, the name in the description. However, I won't put the exact link. You just have to search up my name because of the circumstances, I'm still learning how to put in the link. I do kind of sound like a noob, but uh, uh, again, this is just practice for me. I'm new to this channel. I'm almost here for a year now because uh, I started this uh, YouTube channel on the uh, around May of 2019. But anyways guys, once again, I really hope that you like this video. Don't forget to hit a thumbs up if you liked it. And if you like my videos, uh, don't forget if you don't wanna miss any upcoming videos I upload, don't forget to consider subscribing if you're new and I will see you again in the next video. Bye.